Hello guys, hope you're doing well. And as always, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, so the problem at our hand today is we are going to solve a concurrent coplanar force system. And in this force system, uh, we can easily see that there are basically three different forces, which are F1, F2 and F3. And these forces are making, F1 is making an angle of phi, which is basically 30 degrees. F2 is making an angle of 60 with the x-axis and F3 is making angles in terms of slopes. So we're going to resolve these forces with into respective rectangular components. So F1 will have basically two components. One component will be along the x-axis and the other component along the y-axis. So that component will be F1 is basically 600 Newton. So the F1 x will be 600 cos 30 positive and the vertical component will be 600 sin 30 equals to 300 Newton. Now let us resolve this F2. F2 will have basically two components and it will be 500 cos 60 and another component which will be 500 sin 60 along the negative y axis because this is positive y, this is negative y. So 500 cos 60 is 250 Newton and F2y will be 500 sin 60 which is 433 Newton but remember this is along the negative y. So it will be, uh, the, the Hibbler has to write a negative sign here. He has not written but he has to write. And uh, what about uh, this one? Uh, what if we want? We can just put it here also. If the, this y component has to be negative, okay. This has to be negative, okay. And uh, what we can do is just put it here, okay. So this is a negative 433. What about F3x, which is this force? Both of its components will be negative because you know this component will be negative. The x component. And you also know this component which is acting along the y-axis will also be negative. So it will be 450 along the uh, 450, 3 upon 5. With it, 3 and upon 5 is the ratio for the x-axis. So it is uh, uh, 270 Newton. But since it is along the negative x-axis, remember this is your negative x. So we will again put a minus sign here for F3x. And for F3y, it will be again 450 see this is the vertical slope 4 upon 5 so it will be 360 newton but its direction is along the negative y remember so it is also going to be negative now what we will do we will add all the x components on the x axis result and on the y composite components on the y axis and we will get resultant uh, frx and fry okay we'll get this and this so the x components if we add it up one is 519.62 this is the component the other F2x is basically 250 Newton, which is this one, and F3x is 270 Newton, but it has to be negative, and see, he has put negative here. So 500 Newton is the FRx. What about FRy? Y components, 300 Newton, it is 300 Newton, uh, 433 Newton, negative, I put it, he also put it now. He has accepted his mistake, and he has done it, rectified it, and Y, F3y is basically minus 360 Newton, he has again put it minus 360 Newton and uh, done the right thing and he added up all the y's and he get uh, it basically as minus 493.01 newton and here he has put it as 493 and put this arrow downward means it is acting towards the negative y axis now we can get the resultant from this formula fr equals to under root of frx square plus fry square and here we added up and we get this as the resultant force if we see the direction theta of fr, basically it will be simple. Theta equals to 10 inverse of fry upon frx. And this is your fry. And this is your frx. And he get 44.6 degrees. Okay. But we have to calculate this uh, from the positive x-axis. So how we will do it? We know that uh, basically the resultant of this for, uh, frx is basically uh, ca calculated as uh, for 500 Newton along the positive X and FRY is calculated 490 Newton along negative Y. So we'll draw 4, 500 Newton uh, along the X axis and we'll draw FRY along the negative Y axis. And if you look at it here, uh, he has drawn it uh, for you guys. Here he has drawn it. See, this is your FRX. He has drawn it. And uh, just to rectify it, we can clear it up. Okay. So he has drawn it for you here and uh, you can very easily see that uh, this is your frx 500 newton and this is your fry 
this is your FRY and this is the resultant and this angle is 44.63 Newton as we calculated it and uh, that is how he has solved this problem. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. Bye.